Chapter 2.22, The Noesis, by Sky. As Blizzard spoke, some of the cloud we were resting on rose up like fairy floss and slipped into my mouth and nose. It felt like really thick steam. Whoa, I said, shaking my head. This cloud's weird. Blizzard smiled. Sure is, he said. I opened my eyes wide as more clouds slid into my mouth. After breathing it for a while, I started to feel strange. Hey, I can see things, I said. It's as if there's a movie in my mind, like when I had f the flu once and I was delirious. What can you see, asked Blizzard. A garden with really weird plants and an angel with four, no, six wings. Blizzard smiled. These aren't ordinary clouds. What are they? I asked. They're what we call the noesis. The no what? asked Frank. The noesis, said Blizzard. The islands of time have an atmosphere that's basically a large expanse of knowledge. You mean we're sitting on top of a huge brain in midair? asked Ben, looking doubtful. Well... A brain or a mind, said Blizzard. The noesis is the magical sum of all knowledge right across time and space. There's nothing quite like it anywhere. Excellent, said Frank. It's like an enormous computer made out of clouds, said Blizzard. It's sort of alive and it wants to help us learn things. By eating it, asked Frank, grinning and pushing some noesis into his mouth. I don't know that we eat the noesis, said Blizzard. It's more like breathing it. Frank breathed in deeply. My mind is going strange, he said. Ben laughed. It's great. How does it work? The noesis gives your body the most amazing energy. It's like getting the purest oxygen in the universe. And it fills your brain with the best information. After a while, when you go back down to the ground... Breathing the ordinary air feels too thin and you crave the noesis. You want what it gives. Knowledge across all time and space, said Frank. Who wouldn't? Six flew off, shooting through the clouds, still in, her, still in the form of a falcon, trying to get as much noesis as she could through her tiny beak. Blizzard smiled at her but then looked serious. The noesis can also lie, he said. So you need to be careful. The students at Mareskamar received training about it. Will it lie to us? asked Minnow, looking worried. You'll be fine, said Blizzard, but only because I'm with you. And I'll be with you when you go into the Noesis again, at least until you get the hang of it. How do you know the difference between the truth and the lies? I asked. Practice, said Blizzard, but even then you can get it wrong. I felt nervous. What sort of lies does it tell? I asked. Evil ones, said Blizzard. What would the lies do to us? I asked, feeling uneasy. Blizzard patted me on the shoulder. Don't worry. I put a spell on us before we came. It'll keep all of us safe for now. Don't come up here without me, though, OK? Fine by me, said Frank, clearly enjoying the pictures that were floating across the screen of his mind. Wicked, said Ben. It's like I'm reading 20 books at once. Good, asked Blizzard. So good, said Ben. I felt a sudden wave of pain in my back. You okay, asked Blizzard. I shook my head. Can we go down soon, I asked. I don't feel very well. We need to adjust to the atmosphere, said Blizzard. Otherwise it'll be overwhelming for you on the ground. Plus, I need to show you how to surf the noesis. Are we really going to surf the clouds? asked Minnow, looking doubtful. Absolutely, said Blizzard. Frank looked keen. Can't wait to get down there, he said. I'm starving. Blizzard laughed. Why wait? I'm a time wizard, and now that we're here, my magical abilities have fully returned. Frank grinned. Finally, he said. From his coat pockets, Blizzard produced steaming apple pies and bottles of sparkling moon juice. There were also spinach rolls with the best cheese 
and my favourite creamy chocolate buttons, which flew like little UFOs directly into our mouths. I love your magical powers, exclaimed Six. Me too, said Blizzard with a smile. We were all a bit dazed from breathing in the noesis. Having something to eat felt like the most luxurious thing in the world. Ten chocolate buttons shot into my mouth all at once. That'll make you feel better, said Minnow. I grinned. Hope so, I said. Six reverted to her human form, her hair looking wild from all her zooming about as a falcon. Being a bird is no good for eating, she said, grabbing as much food as she could. We all laughed. What? she asked, spitting out bits of chocolate. I'm starved. When I'm a bird, I can only fit half a chocolate button into my beak, and I want twenty. I smiled. I'd forgotten how greedy I was when I was six. As we ate and drank, staring down at the ground, Blizzard pointed out the main areas of the university's X-shaped castle. Each quarter of the X is host to a different group of students. Most begin by learning magic in the first quarter of the X. Is it like Harry Potter? asked Minnow. Do you have to be born a magician? Ah, said Blizzard. You're worried that you might be a muggle. Minnow looked sheepish. I always hoped not to be a muggle, she said. There are no muggles on the islands of time, said Blizzard. Anyone can learn magic and no one gets a head start. Minnow grinned, nodding. Good, she said. What's in the other parts of the castle, asked Frank. Mathematicians and scientists are in the next quarter, said Blizzard. Prophets and students of respect and religion have their own section. Advanced magicians, art artists, architects, writers, musicians and imaginicians share a quarter. Imaginicians, I asked. They're like magicians, but they make magic by using their imagination. I like the sound of that, said Minnow. Me too, said Frank, sipping on his moon juice. Imaginations are mostly children, said Blizzard. I think that's why so many of them are able to heal sickness. Most adults lose their imagination as soon as they grow up. Although some of our adult prophets make very good imaginations. Frank looked worried. The religious people aren't like the overlord, are they? All about the rules, except when they want to break them. Trust me, our students of respect and religion are nothing like Overlord Thieve. Right across the universe, religion has caused so much harm. People who study here are interested in life and fun and respecting people no matter what. They are not so much about the rules. At Mariskamar, we believe in respect above all else and magic. Minnow and Frank looked intrigued. Like Moses with the rod that became a snake, asked Frank. Exactly, said Blizzard. All religions have magic stories. My favourites are when Jesus walked on water and when he caught a fish with a gold coin in its mouth just when he needed some money. Minnow laughed. I used to carry a gold coin in my mouth when I was little, she said. Frank grinned. Because you were nuts. Because I badly wanted to be a fish, said Minnow. Blizzard laughed, pointing down at the university. The entire X-shaped castle rotates by one quarter of a circle every day. So each morning you wake up with a different garden and a new view. My favourite is the ocean. Mariskamar's beach has a massive cottonwood tree. Can you see it? We all nodded. It's especially magic, said Blizzard. We have one in our game, said Frank, looking pleased. Blizzard nodded. I also like waking up to see the Mountains of Hope, he said. They're the ranges that run down the centre of the big island and right across it. See? They make the diamond-shaped island look like a big, old-fashioned kite. The whole castle moves around, asked Ben. Yep, said Blizzard, through an excellent mixture of magic and science. We all looked at one another, excited. Can we go for a swim when we get there? asked Ben. Of course, said Blizzard. It's great surfing the Noesis, but there's nothing quite like being in the real ocean. Plus, our ocean is indigo, as you can see. 
My dad makes indigo dyes, said Frank, and indigo ink. Excellent, said Blizzard. Sometimes the noesis mixes with ordinary clouds and we get purple rain. It's lighter than the indigo of the sea and so beautiful. Wow, said Minnow. There's a song about purple rain. My mother loves it. I've not heard of it, said Blizzard, but when Moreskama has purple rain, there are outbreaks of the most spectacular luck. It's very good. <laughs>